Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this week at In 4 walkthrough. Uh, looks like we're making a little stop here at the deserted island. Uh, if I remember right, there is some... Well, at least one character to recruit here. So... We'll see if that's what we end up doing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is the annoying one. Um... You have to run all the way to the back of the cave, like, something like three times in a row. So, it can be, you know, it can be a little annoying. The enemies here haven't changed since, uh, since I guess we were marooned here. <coughs> earlier on in the game, so, you know, no, no surprises there. Um, eventually, up at the top of the island, um... Kind of in like the open area, there'll be a, I don't know, kind of like a mini, like an like optional enemy, or I don't know. It's kind of a boss, I guess. And uh, that'll drop the giant crab shell or something like that, I think it's the name of that. And uh, it's great for, uh, it's for crafting armor. And uh, it is, yeah, like I said, it, it makes some really good armor. I actually really like the set that it makes. Um, so we'll... I do know I, can't, I came back here eventually, but uh, here we've got tai, Taisuke, something like that, and uh, looks, like, looks like he's missing his clothes. He's taking a little, taking a little dip. If I, re I, I can't remember, but I want to say. There's there's crabs here that will drop, I think they'll drop pearls, I think, like rarely, but I don't remember if it was these or not, and in all honesty, I don't, yeah, so he wants, to, you gotta go all the way outside the cave, um, but anyways, yeah, okay, so here he prompts us to go get his clothes, um, but, you know, I, I don't know if I would say that it's worth the time to farm them in here. Uh, you know, like, just, just fighting the enemy. I, I don't really feel like it is. I don't feel like it's worth the time. I really feel like you're better off just um, buying them uh, at, uh, oh boy, which island is it that you buy them from? Gosh, is it Nay? It's Nay or Nanal or something like that. One of those islands up there. And then you sell them off at Obo. Or sorry, not Obo, Mordo. So, uh, yeah, so I mean, that's what I do anyway. Again, you know, I really wouldn't, I don't think it's that great of a, great of an idea to, uh, to try to farm, farm any of these, uh, crabs, and I, and I'll honestly, I don't even remember if these are the right crabs anyway. It's, it's either these ones or maybe the ones up, up in, like, the wooded area, because there's actually, I think there, if I remember right, there's two different types of crabs here. I, did I miss his clothes? I'm pretty sure his clothes are like in a pile over here somewhere. I guess we'll look around a little bit. I don't remember exactly where they were at. It's not looking like they're here though. I thought they were right outside the cave. Maybe I just missed them. Yeah, they're there. All right, so now we're really gonna need to head back in. So you hand him off his clothes and then go all the way back outside the cave again. Ha <laughs> 
Typen. Obtain the skin. Cool. <laughs> I don't remember what that stuff is even for. I don't think that that's uh. I don't even think that's for that good of gear. I don't know though. It's been a while. It's been a while since I did any crafting. Um, I did mention actually the set earlier, but there's a, you know, there's a set that you make uh, from, I guess, like the giant crab shells. And uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Is it the gob? I want to say it's the goblin set. No, it's the ogre set. And that set I love. I absolutely love that set. Um, I know for sure um, Mitsuba can use it. Um, you know, and that that's actually the so that's kind of the case with with uh, most of the armor sets in this game. Is not not everybody can use every set. Um, you know, usually usually I guess I would say that the sets were tailored to uh, a character's almost like innate strength so like you know we'll take Jean for example I think she can use a lot of this stuff that's like more oriented to, to casters um, you know so I guess they just the, the set seem to to uh, help help a character's like intended role I guess I would say uh, the, the main character though he can he can wear a lot of different stuff. Uh, you know, I don't know if he can wear the the full like caster gear or not, but um, he can wear a lot. Uh, so here, Taisuke, Taisuke can finally finally be recruited here. So after all that running around, and I am totally using the glowing hand mirror to get out of here. You know, now that I think about it, I probably could have done that, and it would have been faster. So I probably could have ran to the back of the cave, you know, and then if you get the right prompts, like you, you have to wait for him to actually tell you to, to go get his clothes, I probably could have teleported or used that to go right back out, and then teleport to the island, pick up the clothes, run to the back of the cave. So I guess I could have saved myself at least one trip. Uh, to the back, to the back there, but now, oh well, what's done is done. And I think I just, so here's, here's that other set of crabs I was talking about earlier. And again, I don't remember if it's the crabs in the cave or if it's these ones up here, but it looks like, the, so those ones dropped shells. And then eventually here in this open area, there is going to be a kind of, you know, kind of like a boss, I guess you could say, or a special enemy. And then, uh, so the the way it works is you'll you'll beat him, and uh, you know he has a chance to drop that giant crab shell. Granted, it's a very very good chance. I want to say it's something like a twenty percent. So you know, way way better than um, you know the normal normal uh, drop rates in this game. They're you know usually not that great. Um, but once you beat it, it will it will no longer be there until you come back to the island. So. What you can do is you can, you know, run up to it, fight it, beat it, you know, potentially get your drop. Um, hopefully, I should say hopefully you'll get your drop. Uh, and then just use a glowing hand mirror to, to teleport back to the ship and then, you know, just teleport back to the island again and rinse and repeat, essentially. Until you get all of the uh, giant crab shells that you need. And, I, and I, I, if I remember right, this is the best place to get them. I think it just, it, it blows everything else out of the water, but... Um, that that giant crab or whatever it is I don't even know what it's called actually but um, it will not be here until uh, quite a bit later on in the game alright so I'm not real sure actually why I teleported back to the cave here but uh, I, guess we'll, I guess we'll see um, uh, gosh, you know, I just I don't I don't remember if there was any more items back here later or you know Yeah, here. Okay, so that's this is why 
So Lillen. I completely forgot about Lillen. So there's yet another one of the mermaids. Um, and I, I believe you have to recruit uh, Taisuke first before uh, Lillen will appear. But, uh, alright, so that's, that is yet another, yet another Star of Destiny that we have recruited. Okay, so, uh, I guess I was mistaken. The people that washed up on shore lived. Uh, and then here is the the message in the bottle. Uh, I believe that is what starts the, um, the treasure hunting quest. So we can finally do that. And thus, uh, and thus start, start collecting our, our treasures. Um, yeah, so obviously we got a ton, a ton of, um, ton of treasure maps now. Uh, I'm gonna do like a full... I think a full treasure hunting like guide where I piece together uh, a bunch of just uh, more or less uh, gameplay of uh, you know some of the treasure chests that I got. So the the thing with the treasure hunting is is it's it's random. Um, so my you know my map number one is going to be different than your map number one, or will most likely be. I guess the, you know there's a possibility that that it could end up being the same, but. Uh, highly doubtful um, but uh, the maps themselves um, you know like so, so the numbers may may end up being different but uh, the locations you, you can obviously match up the locations of uh, you know there, there'll be like a little um, I guess like a little map kind of or a, or a part of a map up in the I believe it's up in the right hand corner once we actually start it and um, those will all be the same. So, like, you know, if, if you find a, a piece of a map that looks like one of mine, it will be the same spot. It's just, um, <laughs> some, some of them can be really difficult. And, and uh, uh, you know, in all honesty, that it may or, you know, just, uh, just doing a little bit of a guide may or may not help. Uh, I, you know, I'm hoping it will, but, um, but we'll see. Uh, but that is the the place where you actually find Renee there. I think it's called is it Donut Island? I think it's the name of it. And that's in the bottom. I want to say the bottom right corner of the map, if I remember correctly. So, um, the one thing that uh, that you also are gonna have to remember too is once you actually get her, you have to you have to bring all of all of your maps to her, and I believe that's true for every every new map that you get so okay so we've probably got like what a total of I'll, I'll just take a guess and say 20 right now and um, you'll have to bring them all to her she'll she will uh, I guess like identify them all at the same time but any point or any uh, any map that you get from this point on I believe you'll have to uh, go talk to her again um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is now we'll go we'll go talk to her she'll identify them and then we can all actually go search for all of those all of the ones that we have right now um, but any you know any new maps that we acquire from this point on you'll have to you'll have to run down here and I'm actually having a hard time finding her again I don't remember where she's actually hiding at um, and so if you'll notice there, you can see the little glowing. There was a little glowing, um, I guess, beacon there on the <laughs> on the on that treasure chest, and uh, and that was just to indicate that the mushroom was done. And here, the sleep phase is the one phase that's a little bit different. Um, you're always gonna wanna pick the top option uh, for that sleep phase. So just make sure that uh, once you grab your, you know, either mushroom or mint or whatever. Uh, whatever it is that you happen to be getting um, that next you know like I said that next phase will be the the sleep phase and you'll just want to hit the the top option um, but anyways back to the back to the hunt for Renee 
I know she's not here in the accessory uh, spot, but here, if you haven't if you haven't checked this out yet, the the accessory shop uh, accessory shop is down here, and uh, it it kind of works like um, it kind of works like crafting, you know, crafting the gear where you know you'll get a bunch of different um, I guess uh, drops, you know, on your uh, on your uh, on your journey and uh, there you see there so that lucky ring there that uses a giant crab shell and I mentioned that I believe in the the previous video um, but uh, in all honesty I mean you can just buy those you can buy those lucky rings right from that shop uh, I forget which which island that was so I would not recommend making those here um, there is some other stuff though here that you know may or may not be a good idea to make you can you can check for yourself. Oh, I don't believe. Well, maybe I did make some. Made some wind wind amulets. Increases speed and wind resistance. I don't know how much they increase your speed by. I guess maybe, maybe we'll find out. And then the magic canceler. That's an interesting item. That could actually, uh, that could actually really come in handy for a couple of battles. The, uh, oh, the whatchamacallit, call um. The hair angel hairball that really comes into mind because that thing has got some really strong magic abilities. So potentially those could be kind of nice for that. I, I don't believe I ever made many of them, but all right. So um, oh, that's too bad. I I wish I would have seen how much that that wind amulet increased my speed by because I've got a bunch of speed. You know, boosting items on the main character. I'm curious how they compare to each other. What are the, the are those the speed rings that I've got on? I, I can't remember, but <clears throat> I know Renee is not here in the training hall, so I'm not sure why I came in here. I guess I, it's an, I've been I, yeah. I guess I've been checking on there to see if we've got enough people to train yet. It's not looking. It's not looking like that's the case quite yet. So, uh, we'll, we'll have to recruit some more before we can we can do some training in there. And then you know that is a it's a good way to, to level up. Actually, it's, at a certain point in the game, it becomes the best way. You'll you'll not really be able to to level past a certain point unless it's through that. If I remember right, Renee was in like the shipwrights room or something like that. So I'm, I'm going to need to go back downstairs there. And it's not looking like I'm going to have the footage of that. Oh, uh, here I... So it looks like I'm saving. I'll, we'll see if the... Possibly the next video I'll be I'll be playing the lottery here. Just to, just to show you the rewards and whatnot. Oh yeah, here we got the... Here we got third place. Cheese o'clock. Yeah, I think I, I don't think I was happy with how this turned out. I don't think I got what I wanted, so I think the next video is probably me getting what I wanted. But anyways, uh, that's gonna bring this video to a close. So like, comment, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. But uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and uh, hope, hopefully you join me for more. All right, thanks for watching.